Assalamu alaikum dear viewers and students and the person who are listening me in uh, through my motivational sessions in all over the world that today i i want to share uh, with very interesting uh, issue of the society uh, that many persons uh, degrade uh, some professions and uh, they they gives priorities to some specific type of professions and i want to share uh, my experience according to my knowledge that every profession in the world or in the society have great impact especially care oriented services especially uh, services welfare related services that are related to the welfare of the organizations such as postmen such as policemen such as uh, gar garbage collectors garbage men such as teachers paramedical staff lab assistants or we can say plumbers even plumbers software uh, cobblers sales person software developer data scientists operators physicians consultants all the professions they have their own impacts all the profession they play important role in the society and if you if you are working in a specific professions if you are working in a specific fields whether these will belong to the career oriented occupation career oriented services and you you have gotten some specific skill or you have gotten some experience in that particular field then you can share your knowledge and you are the asset of the society you are an asset for the people around you so my uh, so my point of view is that don't devalue or degrade any specific occupation or any specific profession all the professions that are the need of the society especially uh, today i am concerning about the services oriented or we can say care oriented occupations such as uh, teacher social worker psychologist psychologist physicians doctor police postman services plumber cobbler sales person paramedical staff software developer data scientist operator even barber etc so the main thing is that uh, in our society we all needs these type of services for the main guy and it is very well known for that the potential is not in the field but the potential is in in the person in the specific person that uh, bring the field that take the field up to the high level of the excellence and we all are working in different scenario we all are working in different professions the need is that what we have gained expertise what we have gained experience and what we have gained the skills from that specific profession we need to share that expertise that uh, experience to the other people so that they can excel in the field for example let uh, let i give my example that i am i have been teaching since 18 years more than uh, since 18 years so i should experience i should share my teaching experience to the to the newcomer to the students or to the youth and the bad and good things of my teaching experience so if if they choose teaching experience if they motivate and if they if they uh, willing to come in in that in this field then they have know how to how to uh, overcome the hurdles hurdles that hurdles that i have faced during my profession during my professional career so the main thing is that if we have been working for any period of time we have at least some level of professional expertise we have got an amazing set of skills knowledge and expertise they make us an asset for mankind people around us so we should not keep all good things in our minds that we have gained the experience from our field why not share it and lift other to new height new height as well that we should share our experience whether we are working as a salesman whether we are working in police department whether we are working as postman whether we are uh, working in as a tcs worker or any or any social uh, worker or, or delivering any social type of uh, things whether we are running as a business 
or whether we are working as a data entry operator, scientist, software developer, whether we are in medical medical field in dent, as a dentist or we can say that as we are working as a paramedical staff or armed forces, we should have an opportunities to educate our youth about that profession, about that field that we have gains, about that experience that we have gained, and we should utilize our energy to educate the our youth, to educate students about our profession, about our experience, about our bad and good things that we have faced in our profession. And the last point is that we you don't have to be in front of classroom to do that. Just share what you know with people. Talk about your experience, the good and bad. And it is not uh, necessary that if we are teacher, then we can motivate. If we are, if we are professor or if we are a mentor, then we can teach the student and then we, we can teach the people. No, if we if we are working in any field, I again say that if we are working as a lawyer, if we are working as a banker, or if we are working as a salesperson, whether we are working as a technicians, whether we are working as a data entry operator in police department or in plumber, even in copper, even then we can share our experience of public dealing, our experience related to society, our experience related to welfare uh, purpose. We can ex share our experience and we should share our experience and expertise to the youth, to the new generation. And we should teach them about the bad and good things of that profession so that we can impart an effective knowledge, effective knowledge and expertise to the coming generations. And the last thing is that uh, what many people, many youth and young generation, they want to excel in life. So remember that the, to excel in life, the main thing is to achieve success in life. There are two main things, hard work and perseverance. We can say that consistency. Hard work, there is no shortcut in life. Hard work, hard work and consistency. Continuous effort. Loving your profession. Doing effort towards your goal. Two main areas, hard working. There is no shortcut in life. Hard working plus consistency, perseverance. We can get excel in any field, whether that field belong to career oriented services, whether that field belong to professional services, whether that field belong to arm armed force services, or whether that field belong to sports, and whether that field belong to home oriented services, including sales, including garbage collectors, etc. and etc. So at the end, I want to summarize that please don't devalue or degrade any type of professions that exist in our society. All professions they have, that have great impact for our society and without any profession, our society cannot survive and we all need competent, expert and professional for all fields of our society. Whether they, whether these fields belong to services oriented, whether these fields belong to health, education, whether these fields belong to entertainments, these fields belong to sciences, paramedical staff, health, military, policemen, in all services, in all departments, we need honest, we need expert and we need professional persons so that our all organizations and our all uh, departments can work smoothly and our society can grow up to the level of excellence. Any question regarding this, you may ask through WhatsApp and through my social media accounts on Facebook. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.